Hi, this is Steve at Specialty Auto again. We're back to show you solution number three. What is solution number three? Well, it's a side curtain, but it's a little different take on the side curtain. What is it? It's a piece of clear plastic. Not quite so evident by what we have in there because it's got a protective film over it. And also we're trying to cut back on the reflection. However, it is a piece of plastic, piece of Lexan. It is designed to fit onto the car exactly the same way as the original side curtain. It is trimmed out in the same way to seal out the elements in the same way as the original side curtain. And it fits the flaps in exactly the same way as the original side curtains. Well, if that is the case, then what, is, what are its advantages? Well, let's review the criteria one time. We ask all of our systems to subject themselves to this criteria. Is it effective? Is it convenient? Does it create an obstruction? Do you have a storage requirement? And does it affect the appearance of the car? Well, let's look at the concept and see what, how these apply. First of all, let's go back to the famous windshield connection. Right here, we have the same problem that we have on the original side curtains. It's open. There's no way it can be sealed permanently. It's too flexible. As you go up the windshield, you probably notice slightly that there is a gap between the rubber and the windshield. Once again, that's not a problem because it is behind the windshield and it does prevent the flow of air and the flow of water with it to not get between the two. Unfortunately, we have our penetration point up here at the top as all of the systems had unavoidable. You will get a leak there. The flaps, the same as the flaps on every other system. There's an inner flap as well as an outer flap. They do no better on this system than they do on the other. And once again, back here in the back, we have what we call the air scoop effect. And as you can see, if you push through there, you can see how the back, the inner flap pushes away from the window when you go uh, with, with, like with wind in there. So you can actually see that back flap now and see how it really has no effect at all. On the body, a rubber seal along the bottom of the side curtain to keep the water that's on the door from blowing up under the side curtain and into the inside of the car. Is this an improvement? No, it's pretty much the same as the original side curtain, but it does offer the advantage of better visibility. So, how are they attached? Well, all side curtains attach with pegs. Let's remove this one and show, since we have this available to show you, how it looks when they are attached. This is a typical peg that is on all side curtains. What is the difference between this peg and the other pegs? First of all, this peg is bolted onto the plastic. The other pegs on the other side curtains are actually welded onto a metal frame which surrounds the side curtain which is covered in fabric. That is a much better system, but unfortunately you have no metal frame around here and the only thing you have to attach to is the plastic. The drilling of the holes through there creates a problem. Those are called stress risers, and any engineer worth his salt knows that if you put a stress riser in a flexible or an expanding surface, you will generate cracks. And that historically has been the problem with these, and that's why they're no longer in use by anybody in the industry, because they crack so frequently you have to give the customer a spare set just to get him through the first year. Let's put it back in place, and then we'll talk about how this is affecting the use of the of the uh, side curtain. Notice as the side curtain is being installed, it is being flexed. These are stuck into the door with the peg holes. The peg holes have got to be drilled absolutely perfectly. They can't be out of alignment with each other. And even when you have them perfect, a hot day, the fit is one way, and a cold day, the fit is another. So you are always having to flex these plastic side curtains to fit in the holes. You're also having to flex it to get it to go behind the windshield, and you're having to flex it to get it behind the flap. The reverse is true. When you open the door, they drag against the flap, they flex it. All of this points to one thing, cracking of all of the holes that penetrate the plastic. Unavoidable. It's just a fact of life, and the plastic people know it, and that's why these are no longer used anywhere in the industry. We used to produce these for about $30 a piece, and make them readily available for people who had a constant need for them. So, does it meet our criteria? Well, I think we can measure it pretty effectively. Effectiveness. No more effective than the original side curtain.
convenience, no more convenient than the original side curtain. Have to get them out of the trunk, which is a problem with storage because when you store these things, if you get them on the top of anything, you bend them in any way or pile something on them, they're gonna warp. They're gonna put stresses in the plastic. The stress riser holes are gonna cause cracks and you'll be needing a new set in a very short period of time. Obstructions, no obstructions. As a matter of fact, there's no obstruction at all. The visibility is actually enhanced with these things, so there is a bonus there. Storage, as I've already mentioned, very fragile. You need a special place. They scratch easily, they bend, and they crack at the holes. Any plastic with holes in it are going to crack. It's just a matter of time. Appearance, they don't look bad up. In fact, they look kind of neat up, and they disappear when they're taken out, so the appearance is not affected. This is the third presentation. It is the one that probably offers the least in protection and offers the greatest difficulty in maintaining the uh, shape and the uh, use of them because of the cracking that goes on. This is not one that I would recommend and that's why they haven't been used for about 15 years in the industry because of that uh, condition that was learned many years ago.